Hey everyone, um, Justin here. I wanted to update you guys on what's been going on. I have Ramsey Hunt syndrome. It is from this virus that attacks the nerve in my ear, my facial nerves, and has caused my face to have paralysis. So Justin Bieber gets facial paralysis caused by a rare illness called Ramsey Hunt syndrome. And this is after his wife Haley Bieber is diagnosed with a rare blood clot in her brain. Which, although sad, a pop star and his wife getting sick isn't the biggest story, but wouldn't a sudden surge of all rare diseases simultaneously be something worth talking about? Because at the same time Haley Bieber got her blood clot, a top ranked golf star Nelly Corda got a blood clot in her arm and professional soccer player Paige Nielsen also got a blood clot in her arm where she had to have a rib resection and a scalenectomy, which is bizarre for a sudden uptick in women in their mid-twenties, healthy, athletic, all seemingly getting rare blood clotting. Now, let's not jump to conclusions, but 2021 definitely felt like the year of coincidences. And now 2022 doesn't feel any different. And although Justin and Haley Bieber never explicitly said they got the shots, they did make an appearance at the Met Gala in September 2021, which apparently had a mandate to attend. Now, I was mistaken previously. I thought because Bell's palsy looks like Ramsey Hunt syndrome, in my mind, I was connecting the many situations where people that got the medicine quickly got diagnosed with Bell's palsy, including Australia's New South Wales minister, Victor Dominello, and comedian Andrew Dice Clay, and I can just endlessly pull up stories about this recently. But it is a different disease, but it's also a rare disease. A rare disease that we're mysteriously seeing a uptick of. And it should be noted that it is on the Pfizer dump of documents of adverse events. It includes an increased risk of Bell's palsy in those that took the medicine. And with Haley Bieber's diagnosis in 2021, you previously would have been gagged if you even just mentioned the connection between taking that medication and blood clots. And now with AstraZeneca and J&J, &J, they're not recommended due to no other than blood clots. So just as we looked into international soccer's issues with mysterious heart conditions, it's something we should talk about. And I'm personally experiencing lots of friends and family that seemingly got rare terminal conditions out of nowhere. Maybe it's a part of getting old, or maybe it's just confirmation bias. Like if Joe Rogan suddenly said, the government's releasing more blue cars into the populace so they can conduct mass surveillance, I'd probably start noticing more blue cars I didn't see before, and then think, Wow, I need to go out there and buy some elk meat. But all jokes aside, I really feel for Bieber. I really enjoyed his Purpose album, and I don't think I've ever seen him simp for a politician or tell me what rights I need to give up. So best of luck to him. Especially when he posted this on his Instagram story, saying it's getting progressively harder to eat. And best of luck to you and your loved ones, because I'm sure in the comment section I'll be hearing from plenty of you talking about you or your loved ones receiving a 1 in 100,000 diagnosis, all in the last two years. So if you like these concise, no-nonsense, non-corporate narrative reports join the decoy squad by subscribing down below and helping us get to 50,000 ducks and if you haven't already check out my video on what's really going on in los angeles before it gets memory hold forever